Do you know everything about the medical device regulation transition or the in vitro diagnostic regulation transition? No? So watch this video and you will learn everything. Hello, my name is Munir El Azouzi from easymedicaldevice.com and today I'll teach you everything regarding the transition for the medical device regulation and I'll include also the dates for the in vitro diagnostic regulation. Okay, so let's start with a bit of a history. So before or now we have three texts which are the active implantable medical device directive, the in vitro diagnostic directive and the medical device directive. So those three texts uh, are in place and will transition to only two texts which are the medical device regulation so 2017-745 and the in vitro diagnostic regulation 2017-746. So those two texts are nearly similar in terms of chapters but the content is different because we are really talking about different products. Okay let's go now to the transition but first let's clarify something. Both texts MDR so medical device regulation and IVDR so in vitro diagnostic regulation were published on May 26th, 2017. So those texts were published exactly at the same moment. But they have both different transition period. The first one, so the medical device regulation, has a transition period of three years. It means that during three years, companies have to transition or to understand the regulation before this regulation starts to be applicable. It means that for the medical device regulation, the first transition period is on May 25th, 2020. And for the IVDR, the difference is the fact that the transition period is of three uh, of five years. So um, it means that the real the start of the IVDR is on the 25th of um, May 2022. So this is kind of the difference between both. Okay, I hope I didn't lost you now, because there are other dates that I, we have to clarify. But first, you, uh, if you want to see all those dates and references and how uh, this is uh, regulated on the medical device directive, you have to read the article 120. On this article, it's mentioning all the different dates for each kind of products. So here I will really simplify the things, but if you want more detail, you have to read the article 120. Let's clarify now the medical device regulation transition. What we can say is that there is uh, two transition dates. The first transition date is called the hard transition and the second transition date is called the soft transition. Let's clarify first the hard transition. So the hard transition is the date that is starting by May 2020 or 26th of May 2020. During, uh, during this date, there is some companies that have to transition. It's really a hard transition. Who are those companies? So if your company is producing class one medical devices, then you have to transition. Why? Because there is no certificate for those products. It's self-certified. You are not dependent of a notified body or of a certificate. You are self-certifying them. So by this date, you will have to have uh, your products compliant to the medical device regulation. Similar for class one with a reprocessing function. So like surgical instruments that are reprocessed, those ones have to be compliant by May uh, 2020. The reason is because within the new medical device regulation, this is a new class. It didn't exist before. As it's a new class, you have no previous certificate to cover those products. Then we have Annex 16 of the Medical Device Regulation. Within this annex, it's described a list of products that have no medical device, no medical purpose. So those products have also to transition directly to the Medical Device Regulation. The reason is because also this didn't exist before and it's new on the Medical Device Regulation. Then you have also the custom-made implants that are implantable that are class 3. Those, this is also a new class uh, within the new medical device regulation. And lastly, you have all the products that have 
no more MDD certificate, so Medical Device Directive Certificate. If your Medical Device Directive Certificate expired, or is expiring the month of May 2020, then you'll have any way to comply to the new Medical Device Regulation. And now, you'll tell me, so what is this soft transition? For um, manufacturers that have products that are covered by the Medical Device Directive Certificate, um, then there is a chance that your transition date is later. What does this mean? On your medical device directive certificate, uh, you have an expiration date. So your uh, expiration date, if it's uh, happening after May 2020, then you can still wait until this date to transition your products. But don't use that as an argument to not do anything. What does it mean? It means that if your certificate expires by, for example, July 2022, all the products covered by the certificate can stay within the medical device regulation, uh, medical device directive, until this date. So they can comply to this uh, this um, this uh, directive until this date. There are just some um, some exceptions for some uh, activities that you have still to do within the medical device regulation. And after this date, you'll have to comply with the medical device regulation. So this is uh, no choice. So be careful in one thing. If on your uh, portfolio you have some products that are class 1 and other that are class 2A, other that are class 1A, etc., etc., you can see that in terms of priorities for your portfolio, there will be different uh, dates. Uh, so you'll have really to... Um, understand this medical device uh, regulation transition so you can really prioritize the changes on your portfolio uh, instead of rushing maybe to uh, change all your class 3 products but maybe the transition of your class 3, class 3 products can be later so understand that what is interesting if you haven't seen it is a survey made by uh, KPMG and RAPS um, regarding the transition for the EU uh, medical device regulation, EU MDR. 78% of the manufacturers that answered uh, this survey uh, say that they don't have really a good understanding of the medical device regulation. This puts really um, under question their um, possibility to transition to the medical device regulation. Because if now they don't understand it, how they can implement all what needs to be implemented by uh, May 2020, uh, for example. Um, there is so many things to do, like the UDI, um, like all the transition of the technical files, uh, like the clinical studies. So you'll have to get the data for your products if you don't, didn't have data before. So there is so many things to do that um, this can be really uh, putting your company in danger. So I really um, ask you to um, understand, to be aware of this medical device regulation so you really know what will happen to you. But what I can tell you is also I understand that there are, we are in a period where there is a lot of changes. So you have this transition to the medical device regulation. If you are selling products to Canada, you have to transition with the MDSAP. Um, if you have uh, products that are sold in UK or your companies in UK, you will have also to deal with the Brexit. So there is a lot of things that are happening in the, in the meantime. So I understand that this can be um, really stressful, but you will have really to manage priorities uh, regarding your projects for all those transitions. So to help you, what I've done, um, I've created a free mini course. This free mini course um, is um, an email course, I call it. So during six days, you receive an email from me uh, related to um, some chapters or some changes re regarding the medical device regulation. Um, you will receive um, some text to read, some videos to show, to look at, uh, some materials to download or some links to articles. And within six days, uh, you'll understand all the fundamentals of the medical device regulation. At the end, uh, I ask you to participate to a quiz. Within, there is 10 questions. Uh, one question is tricky, so I, I hope this video will help you to, to uh, understand it. Uh, and uh, you will receive a certificate of completion. So yeah, I really encourage you to, um, to uh, subscribe to this free mini course so you can really understand the fundamentals of the medical device regulation. 
I also created an article on my blog uh, regarding this medical device uh, regulation transition. So you can have a look at it. Uh, all the links are there. So to look at this article, you have just to look at the show notes. Um, I put the link there so that you can have a direct access. We arrived to the end of this video. So thank you for watching it. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to uh, receive notification of when an another video is coming. So I say uh, thank you and uh, see you soon. Bye.